keep it with you. Ma'am, sometimes the network is in between is bad, so we use it for preferring. Uh -huh. That's good. That's good. You should keep you know, at least um, there should be some uh, responsible student, no? like uh, what we call it, representative. They should keep some recordings and they spread it among the students when they need it. It's good to have it. Yeah, so I was talking about the days. No, so the question comes here that K dia is OI. OK, so K is what? Dia is day is OI, S is is and OI is today. OK, so this is the question when we have to we have to, we want to know the day today. OK, so for example, I may ask you K dia is OI. So the answer and I add the one thing here, you will see the use of S that is a sale verb and I told you for date and time and for days also the days also included with date and everything date, time, month. OK, the days, all these things are uh, whenever they are there, we will use sale verb to describe. That, OK, so what day is today? K D I S O I. OK, so your answer is O E S. Today is a lunes. El martes or whatever the day it is. OK, so we'll come to the days now. We have seven days, as you know, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. Vale? So all of them are either ending with S or O. OK, so what could be the gender of the, these 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 words like these days of the of a, of a week? And masculine. Yeah, masculine. All of them will be masculine. You said masculine, right? Yeah, because yes, this, yeah, because these days they are following the, the rule of loners. OK, so ending with S or O. OK, low O, L O N E R S S. So we will be writing El lunes, El martes, El miércoles, El jueves, El viernes, El sábado, El domingo. OK, so today is Monday. We will say hoy es El lunes. OK, so we basically we most of the time we use uh, the article also with the, the days. OK, so hoy es El lunes. OK. I have class on Monday. I have class on Monday. This is also important on Monday. So we I do not write on in Spanish here that on, but we use the article again here to describe. So for example, I said I have class on Monday. I will say yo tengo clase or yo tengo la clase because we will use article. In Spanish, they used a lot of articles. Yo tengo la clase el lunes. El lunes. OK, so on Monday, in place of on Monday, we will be using el lunes. Well, so you will see here also. Vamos al centro el sábado. No, we are going to the center or to the city. Center is the city actually. El sábado. In place of writing on Saturday, they are writing el sábado. Vale? On Saturdays, though when it comes as plural, no, like people will say that I go go for yoga class or I do yoga on Saturdays or I do yoga or, or I do outside. I eat outside on Sundays. No? I go for parties on on Fridays. <coughs> Man, what is the plural for Mondays in Spanish? Yeah, that's good thing actually. So if you will go for plural with this one, uh, sábado, domingo, you will add here S. Sábados, domingos. For lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, you keep it like that only. Los lunes, los martes, los miércoles, los jueves, los viernes, ¿vale? Los sábados, los domingos, ¿vale? You do not change lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes. You do not put ES again, ¿ok? Is it fine? Yes, ma'am. OK, so if the same thing is written here, we go to the city on 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 Mondays, then it will become 
vamos al centro los lunes. Okay, los lunes. On will become el or los, ¿vale? depending upon the, 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 the days. One thing again, I'll say, if you will check here, the Saturdays, Saturday is written in capital, no? They're starting with capital. But in Spanish, they will always be written in the small letters. Okay, wherever they come, they will be written in small, until unless the sentence starts with sábado, so S will be capital. Otherwise, in between, if it is coming, then it will be small, it will never be capital, okay? That's only the rule here. So I would ask one of you to read the, the days in Spanish. One of you, please raise your hand, those who can read or those who want to read. Yeah, Kushi, Kushi Murti. Yeah, go ahead, Kushi. Lunes, Martes, Miércoles, Jueves, Viernes, Sabado, Domingo. Sábado, Domingo. Yeah. So these are the things which you need to keep in your mind. Okay, so KBIS OI, the, the question, so you should know how to answer the question. Mm -hmm. uh, next comes months and seasons. Okay. Okay, let me just open it first. Okay. Again, the months here, we have 12 months, okay? So when the month question comes, when how we will ask the month? We, we generally ask, no, which month is it, no? Okay, we leave this, this question, no? This, this, this will complicate the things. OK, or the question, if you want to write, no, but still you want to write, then I'll directly go into this Spanish one. Which month que mes es ahora? Now, which month is it now? Que mes es ahora? What month is, is now? Or the question also comes in Spanish. Okay, fine. We'll keep it like this. I don't want to complicate it now. Okay, so the months here, again, we are either ending with O, one is ending with L or other, the rest of them, four of them are ending with E. So you know the gender of these nouns, okay? Can you tell me the gender? Can you tell me what masculine. you will use here? Yeah, again, they are, all of them are masculine. Okay, el enero, el febrero, el marzo, el abril, el mayo, el junio, el julio, agosto, el septiembre, or septiembre. It's all now that the pronunciation, they, they eat P sometimes, okay? So that's why some places they call septiembre, some places they'll call septiembre, okay? Octubre, noviembre, diciembre, okay? So L, you will use the article L. Okay. Here again, the same thing that all of them are starting with small letter, okay? Uh, if they are in the sentence, okay? No, you will not, you will not use like you, you, you use in English language. Okay. Again, I'm feeling sleep. There's no much to talk about this. 
again the article you know how to write and then uh, it starts with the small letters. The, the next is the seasons. OK, what seasons we have, uh, what seasons we have in India and what season they have in Spain. OK, it is different. Uh, it is a little bit different because we have a monsoon season, no, which starts from almost June, July, some places June, some places July, and then it will go till September, no, September. Sometimes it enters uh, October also, no, in some places till Durga Puja it is raining. OK, or sometimes it is in it ends in August, no, the when when my monsoon arrives and then it goes back. We have rain, OK, depending upon how much monsoon we have. So we have a rainy season in India. OK, we have a rainy season and uh, and on, on the basis of that, you know, the the season. We have differentiated all the seasons like we have five seasons no? or, or four. Maybe you can call four, but I, I, I think there are five seasons now in India. In, in Spain, they have four seasons. OK, starting with invierno, that is winter, invierno, and invierno, it starts from January. So it's a peak. OK, actually, the winter starts from 1st of November. That itself, the 1st November will be colder than the 31st or 30th October, 31st October. Yes, it will be colder than that day. OK, and from that word, that day onwards, this winter starts. OK, the complete winter starts where you have to put on jacket. OK, and in October, you are not putting on jacket. You are putting sweaters, OK, or pullovers like that. Uh, but from November 1st, you will need blazers, OK, or jackets. The big ones. OK, then we have from November 1st till 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 uh, what we call. Till March or April, maybe till March, April, there on March, April. Yes, depending upon where you are, if you are more closer to Africa, in Europe, if you are South Europe, then it will be hot during not hot, but the spring starts first. OK, so yeah, after this April in the May and June, you have primavera, no spring season. OK, so after that spring, spring is very beautiful in Spain or in, in Europe. OK, spring is very beautiful because they have uh, uh, what we call beautiful flowers during that time. OK, the whole the whole Europe will look very Colorful, OK, so it's primavera and the primavera is the best time to travel also. It's expensive, but it's best time. OK, and that's after that enters like in July, August. It's very hot. OK, it's very hot. It's dry and hot. OK, uh, in some places it is humid also because of the coastal reason uh, being as a coastal area, but it is otherwise it is dry. So after summers, like you no know, summers ends in September. You no know, September end. You know the, they have this autumn time, autumnio. Okay. So whatever greenery they had from primavera, verano, they will have autumnio, autumn time, and everything will be will be done. Like you no, know, everything will be dry. In dry in the sense now there will be no leaves as such, because primavera was fine. Verano has given a a, a heat stroke there and then everything goes down and autumn nothing left okay so autumn is also beautiful in a different sense okay there are two kind of primavera otonio are two different kind of season no? one is full and another one is empty so after otonio comes your winter no nothing is left on the, on the trees the leaves are dug, gone and then comes your winter okay so that's when the season divided and what happens about the rain how do they get the rainwater during winters? No, this is December after December, January, February uh, and March. Also, they have this rain. They, they, they get the rain that time. No? And that's the reason that the seas that the invierno, that the winter becomes colder. OK, colder like because it is raining. No, I remember the way I was living there at that time. It was very cold because of rain. OK, so they have uh, winter and plus rain and which is making it colder. OK, so these are some uh, months, seasons and the days we have described today. OK, so what day is today? What month is now? Which season is now? OK, K. Estación es ahora. What season is now? 
can ask the question like this. Which season is that? Estación is your season. Okay. Mes is your month. I'll start put the questions here so that you know. Que dia es? Es today is today. And we also ask questions like, you know, which day, which month we are in, okay? And que, okay, que estación estamos, okay? So that, there are questions, other, other, another style of asking the question. But this is fine. For now, it is fine. Que mes es ahora, que estación es ahora, que día es hoy, right? So after this, let's uh, close it and then come to something new. I'll teach one one more uh, what we call grammar aspect. OK, this is easy and at the same time it is important and that's why I'm adding this. OK, so there is one verb I. This is a form of a verb actually I H A Y. It looks a three letters and three letters word, but it is very powerful in Spanish. OK, uh, the meaning here I is there is as well as there are. Okay, the meaning is there is and there are. But before starting this, I just want one person to introduce himself or herself so that I can have have some water to Tushar. B Tech in Chemical Engineering, not here. Apurb. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, please introduce yourself. Ma'am, you soy Apurva. You soy the. If you can turn on the camera. Sure. Yeah, but. Yo soy Apurva. Yo soy de Ahmedabad. Vale. Yo tengo un hermano e zero hermana. Aha. Uh -huh. We don't say uh -huh. zero sister. I have zero sister. We don't say I do not have sister. Yo no tengo hermano. Okay. 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 Ah, uh, yo tengo bien de años. Mhm. Uh -huh. And what is your father? Mi padre tiene, uh -huh. mi padre tiene 47 uh -huh. años. Vale, muy bien. And what he does? He's a businessman. Okay, él es, um, él es negociante, vale? Él es negociante, ok, ma. Ok, muy bien. One more student maybe I can ask. Akash. Akash Pathak, we take in electrical and electronics. Vale, he's not here. Yash Vardhan. Okay, we take in electrical and electronics again. Okay, everybody's phone number is also available here. If in case I can. Anuj. Vale, these people are no, nobody is here. Okay, so I'll come back to the what I was teaching. The use of I. Okay, this is important. It is yes, important. You called. No, that's okay now. It's okay. OK, so that this tiny verb I is a powerful punch written over here already. So we will go to the meaning of this H A Y. So if I'm saying there is a book on the table, as I said, I means there is. So there is a book. OK, so I un libro. OK, you will see the meaning here is written I un libro. So that means there is no is in the sentence. OK. 
there is directly this there is un libro, okay? I un libro. So we are not putting here is, okay? We are not putting any verb like is here. Why I'm not putting here is because the meaning itself, the I, the word itself, I has the, 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 the is also, the art, the, the verb also, okay? Because the meaning of I is not only there, but it is there is. The two words meaning is one word, okay? I. So that's why when there is a sentence like there is a book, we write here I un libro. Pare? Because this I word itself has both the meanings, both the words included here. That is there and there is also. I un libro in la mesa. And Another point, you will see the meaning of there are is again I, okay? So there are 25 students. I 25 estudiantes, okay? So the meaning of there are is also I and 25 estudiantes, 25 estudiantes, vale? So the meaning of I is both there is and there are, okay? Since the meaning like one word is having both the meanings there is and there are how will you know whether the the meaning is there is or there are in that case what do we do we go further we do not stop at i to understand the meaning of i okay so what we will do we will read i un libro that means i un libro means there is a book that is one book we are talking about and here in the next sentence, if you go, I 25 estudiantes, that means there are 25 students. And the sentence is talking about 25 students, that is plural. No? So there is a book, that is, there is a book, one book, or there is there are 25 students. Accordingly, you will change the meaning whether there is or there are. Okay, seeing further. Well, is it fine? Is it fine? The meaning of there is and there are? Yes, ma'am. So going further, the question, for example, if we put a question, are, is there a book on the table? So here you will see the sentence. Is there a book on the table? So the question again will look same, no? The question is only there is a question mark, difference of question mark. I un libro en la mesa. Now I put a question, okay? Why I have, I'm not able to change it in a question form inside the sentence, it looks same as its answer, okay? Why? Because again, is is included in I, there, that's why you are not able to interchange, okay? Like you, you are not able to put is before and thereafter in, in this sentence because I itself has the is also and there also. That's why the question will remain like that. I un libro en la mesa, but the question mark itself clears. Okay, this is a question. Okay, so people generally, is there a book on the table or I un libro en la mesa? People give the answer either yes or no. Okay, so I Again, there is there are there 25 students in the class. I 25 estudiantes in la clase. Either your answer will be yes or no. So I will. Is it fine now? Four uses of it. First is I un libro. I 25 estudiantes in affirmative sentence and then asking question. Are there uh, uh, is there a book or are there 25 students? Is it fine? Then we will move to the exercise. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now we have one exercise where you will be clear what to do. So for example, responde los, las preguntas, no? You have to reply or you have to answer the questions affirmatively or negatively. So there are, there is one question. Hay muchos libros en la biblioteca, where the muchos is many, okay, many books. 
¿ok? Hay muchos libros en la biblioteca, so your answer could be yes. There are many books in the library. Or your answer can be no. There are not many books in the library. The first one is yes, there are book, many books in the library. How will you answer that? Yes, there are I many muchos libros en la biblioteca. Yes, but how will you say yes? Sí. Si. Yeah, so si, si, we generally, hay muchos libros yeah, en la biblioteca. Whenever there is a question which the demands an answer like yes and no, either yes or no, then we often put yes before, okay, or no before, and then we repeat it. Like, for example, if somebody is uh, coming and asking, uh, do you have a pen? Then I will be, if I have, then I'll say yes. And then I'll say yes, I have a, I have a pen, pen with me. If somebody is asking, do you have a pen? And I, do, I want to say no, then I'll say no, I do not have a pen. Like that. In Spanish also we use the same. So when you have to say no, remember there is double negation happening. So first comes no, the comma, and the, 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 um, there are not many books in the library, okay? There are not, okay? And before that, we have already put one no, okay? So you know how to write it? No, comma, no hay muchos libros en la biblioteca because the second no comes before your verb and I has your verb also. That's why you will put no, comma, no hay muchos libros en la biblioteca, ¿vale? Fine. Can I explain the no part again? Can I explain the, the okay, okay, I'm explaining. Okay. So, I muchos libros in la biblioteca. You know the answer in C. And when the comes here, no, we generally say no, and then we repeat the sentence, okay? No, there is, uh, no, there are not many books in the library. No, there are not many books in the library, okay? So, we have said no twice. The first no, which was simple no, plain no, no, then coma, no hay muchos libros en la biblioteca. Okay, so we we call it like double negation. Okay, so we, when there is double negation, the second no comes before I. Okay, no, coma, no hay muchos libros en la biblioteca. Okay, and why I put it before I? Because it has to be given before verb. I told it before that it has to come before your verb. And since I has the verb also, that's why we, we are putting it before I. So no, no I muchos libros en la biblioteca. Vale? So let's go again. The question number two. Hay muchas sillas en la clase. Sí, hay muchas sillas en la clase. Sí, hay muchas sillas en la clase. And how will you say in no? No, 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 hay, no muchas hay muchas sillas en la clase. Vale, I think both of you are correct. Number third, hay dos teatros en la ciudad. Teatros es theater. Tell me, no? Somebody please answer. Hay dos teatros en la ciudad. Sí, hay dos teatros en la ciudad. If you have to tell it in no. No hay dos teatros en la ciudad. 
but you, you have to no, make it yeah no no i this three to last next i tres perros in tu casa si sí, hay tres perros en tu casa no no, no hay tres perros en tu casa vale está bien but what happens uh, when I'm asking you the question, are there three dogs in your house? Then your answer will be my house. Okay. Yes, I, there are three dogs in my house. Okay. Okay, I, okay so yeah, please. Next question. I muchos estudiantes en tu clase. Sí, hay muchos estudiantes en mi clase. Vale. If no, then. What you will do if no, you have. No, no, hay muchos estudiantes en mi clase. No, no, hay muchos estudiantes en mi clase. Vale, ok. But often it is not possible. Like it is like you have many students in your class. Okay, now next one. Hay cinco compañeros en tu habitación. Compañeros, I will tell you. Okay. Uh, compañeros are your companions. We call it like no, like that. Uh, compañeros de tu habitación of your room. Compañeros of your room. Compañeros of your class. What is the companions? What's the meaning of this companions? We have companions of the class. We have companions of the of the of the of the of the, of the, of the room. We live in hostel, then we have companions in our room. Um, companions? Is that what you, is that what it means? Or mates? Yeah, mates, yes. So roommates, classmates, all these are companions, no? So I have also some colleagues with me that are working. They are also my companions, no? Working mates. Okay. Hay cinco compañeros en tu habitación. Sí, hay cinco compañeros en mi habitación. If you have to say no. No, no, hay cinco compañeros en mi habitación. Vale, muy bien. Okay, so we will stop here. And I'll share the attendance form. So you have to translate the sentence, okay? Please fill the form and then you can leave the class. <laughs> 